We're at the Prospector's Jamboree at Southwest Arkansas's Crater of Diamond State Park. And what is your name, sir? Scott Craigus. And where are you from originally? Originally? Yeah. Iowa. Where? Iowa. Sibley, Iowa. So you're a Yankee. And, and you're down here? Yep. And why did you move to this area? Our daughter did the same thing. Diamonds. You're kidding. That could get you out of Iowa and down to Arkansas? Wow. Well, um, when did you move here? About three years ago. All right. Have you found any diamonds here? Okay. Tell me how many you found. Oh, yeah. Right now I've got 205 diamonds. 205. Well, you've outdone me. So, anyway, interview's over. <laughs> you can't show me up. No. Uh, My wife's so, seven of them. Oh, excellent. So you count your wife's seven as part of yours, huh? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, seven in addition. Well, excellent. Well, um, what is your largest so far? Ninety-one point brown. Wow, that's nine tenths of a carat. Um, <laughs> you found a mackle near the beginning. Was that your first diamond? Well, that's my first diamond. You're you're kidding. Your very first diamond. Yes. Claude Dill has found about 2,000 diamonds here and never found a mackle. And you start with your first one? Yep. Oh, that's the way to get started. So, do you have a picture of your 31? Yes, it's right here. So, a mackle, for those of you who don't know, is a triangular, naturally flat diamond. And this has not been cut or polished. This is the natural shape, and it's absolutely gorgeous. That, that is nice. I really love the mackle. And you had it set in a ring? Yep. Fantastic. Uh, let me uh, kind of move it so we can look at the light and the shape. Set it, uncut, just like that, because it's already perfect. Wow. Scott, I know you, and that, that's just too good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, I really love that diamond and appreciate you showing me. You have another one set, uh, 42 point yellow? Yeah, that's that the, in a necklace? that was my wife Linda's first diamond. Oh, excellent. And she's not here with you today. No, no she's working. Uh, well, somebody's got to work and it's not going to be you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, tell me about this yellow beauty right here. That, that's her, that's the one that's in that necklace right there. Excellent. Good timing. Fantastic. That is so pretty. You've got a perfect, gorgeous white mackle and a perfect, gorgeous yellow. But I must point out, Scott, that hers is bigger than yours. <laughs> you had to notice it. <laughs> yeah, I had to point it out too. So um, these are your diamonds. Yep. Oh my goodness, what a collection. That is a huge case. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Do you this have... This one here is the 35,000th diamond found, registered at the park. Oh, yeah. And when was that registered? Oh, last September. Oh, September, September. 22. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Excellent. Have, you weren't prepared for this question, but I just wondered, have you checked any of your diamonds for fluorescence under black light? I have, but my black light's not the right okay. frequency well, or whatever. Okay, well, I'll have to loan you. I've got a 365. Yeah, that's and then, what I need. Yeah, yeah, I'll loan you the flashlight sometimes. Oh, and uh, don't do it. You, we know that this uh, ruby you found here, very rare, more rare than diamonds, rubies at the Crater of Diamonds, it fluoresces under black light. Yes, it does. Yeah. Fantastic. And um, I appreciate you letting us in the inner case behind the locked doors. Uh, show me in the, uh, the book here, what, what do you have here? This is my uh, book. I get I got the stuff from the 35,000th. Oh, yeah. 35,000 diamond. Then plus this is my uh, registered. Uh -huh. I like baseball cards. Oh, my goodness. 
people would love to find one diamond here, much less 205. That is quite a collection of cards, Scott. I am impressed. Yep, more than more crater diamonds than I have, but uh, show me, show me what These you got all, behind all here. All the diamonds, that, pictures of all the diamonds. Oh yeah, of each one I take a, my favorite picture and just keep recording them all. Well, I uh, I see your pictures on Facebook, and you really take excellent up close photos, well, thank and you. I appreciate that. Thank you're you're really an extraordinary photographer. So, this is a sapphire? There's two sapphires and a ruby. Those were sent to the GIA. And Alaska. they verify yeah, they their verify crater. That that's what they were. Those three there, they kept, I let them keep them. Oh, yeah. For their studies. Neat. And then this fourth one I decided I wanted to yeah, keep it good. Yeah, just go ahead My and return collection. that to me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, these other pictures are just more of your diamonds? Yep, yep. There's two. The some are cover girls and some yep, are not. Yep, that's right. Just like real life. Boy, that different shapes. You do find some unique ones, I must say. Wow. Oh. Yeah, some of them are like, oh stop, stop. <laughs> no. I, I mean I've got, some I've really got, oh that's, that's that's a beauty. I, I can appreciate these shapes. It's like Wow. You know, and you try to teach people what an uncut diamond from Arkansas looks like, and it's like, yeah. I've got four or five matches. Oh, cool. I like this, too. Uh, it's only a one point, but what a beauty. Look at the shape on that. Oh, I love the shape. One point yellow, but look at that crystalline look at structure. structure. Yes. That is classic structure right there. It is. And then it does it again here on this side. Yep, it does it all the way around. Oh. That one did it all the way around. I, I, that might be a tetrahexahedron or something. That you'd have to <laughs> one of those big words. Yeah, yeah. I just threw that out so you'd think I knew what I was talking about. But uh, sounded good. Now somebody will look it up. But uh, six sides there and six there and on around. I, and that is classic. You. You need to post that picture on Facebook again. I know it's been on there before, but oh, I love that too. Incredible that something that that small can be that perfect. This is one fiftieth of a carat, and that other one I was making over was also this is one 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 hundredth of a carat. Linda Pound, gorgeous shape, absolutely. Oh, that the color just delicious on that, and the shape too. I. Scott, I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. I do too. <laughs> yeah. I That's bet, why you keep coming out here. I bet a fella could get hooked on these to where he would go out in the heat and, and dig and wash and look for more. Ten point brown. That's really very nice. And how many of your diamonds have you sold? Zero. Excellent. Good for you. Oh, that's a mackle. <gasps> You're the mackle king. Wow. Yeah, and it all started with that one. Yeah. Yes. I'll tell you, that would get you hooked right there. That would make you want to, you know, move here from Iowa. Of course, yeah. just being in Iowa would make me want to move here from Iowa. <laughs> okay, Mr. Kansas. <laughs> I'm, I'm just teasing you. Yeah, old cornfield. Cornfield says to Wheatfield, yeah. I think we'll move to Arkansas. That is a beauty. Two point. What a perfect, perfect shape and clarity. One of those first pictures are the pictures from the, the, the Discovery Center. Oh yeah. Okay. That was before I started. Yeah. The picture. Yeah. There's my there's my uh, pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I knew it was a prehistoric mineral, yep. so that yeah. just proves it. That makes sense. For yeah. This one looks like one I have on the front of my cover of my book that's like a 279 or something. But uh, beautiful shape. I love it. 
Uh, these are are good. I I just got to keep uh, keep looking if you don't mind. Now, some people say that's not a diamond, but it is. Well, you know, they're oh, and everybody would say, yeah, that's a diamond if you know anything. That's the one that's in this picture here. Forty-two point yellow. Man, oh man. So, how long have you been searching for diamonds before Linda found that one? A couple years. She showed you up right there. We did found that after we moved here. That's the, that, that is that same diamond. Wow. Beautiful setting. I really like that. Lovely necklace pendant. Who did? Oh, yeah. And some diamonds are prettier than others, and some, you know, I just ooh and awe at. But, uh, I, I enjoy, you know, here I flip through it real quick, and each one of them represents a lot of work, yep. a lot of hours and days of labor to recover it and then to get the pictures. But uh, I, oh, that is so sweet. 28 point brown, too. It's nice that uh, your pretty one's a good weight, too. The average found here is 20 points, but that was a bigger than average. That's a nice yellow. So if you ever put them back in the ground, will they grow and get bigger, kind of like seeds? I haven't tried yet. Well, I've got a planter you can put them in. <laughs> I'll water them every day. <laughs> Ah, that's neat. Got a lot of character. Oh, that's perfect. They call that a white, huh? Mm -hmm. Two point white. It's pale yellow. I see the color. That's nice. Oh, some of them just really pop. Some of them are like Pac-Man diamond. Oh yeah, some of them are pretty nasty looking. <laughs> but but they're not. I've noticed you don't throw any back. Though. Oh no. Yeah. Three point yellow. That is really sweet. Nice banana, three point white. Down in 2022. Ooh, that's really nice. David Anderson found one like that. It was, mm -hmm. it was a carrot 79. It looks just like that. It's on his Facebook. Yes, yes. And there's a five point white. Man, isn't, isn't it funny that one can be a different size and just identical like that? Well, some of these girls are ugly, but they've got a nice personality. <laughs> that's, that's nice, two point white. Scott, I can see why you collect these. And I'm glad you collect the pictures as well, because you can really appreciate the shapes. And I, I'm glad to just go through and kind of look at all of them. Oh, that's good. They call that white. Here, you're that's a yellow. Years old, See, the, in my opinion, and they call that white as brown. But I think the cards need to match what you see with your eyes. But it's any white at all, though, that's considered white. Mm. That's considered a white, but that, that's brown, I would say. It could be because of the impurities on the other side are shining. Yeah, it could be. Four point white. Wow, I call that a brown. Bye, <laughs> That's one we'll that I sent to him that we thought it might have been a day, green guys. one. Oh, I yeah. That's yes. Yeah. Yeah. We thought it was. It looked green to me. Yep, it did. Five point white. Two point white. One point white. Look at that. Perfection in a little bundle like that. Scott, do you know the total carat weight of everything you've held? Oh, well, you've got 205. That's the number you need so to that's remember. That's probably about what I guess. <laughs> 205. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Not when you start out with 31 point macro. Well, thank you very much for showing us. What's in the other book? More pictures? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we, we saw the sapphire. Oh, did we go through this book already? I'm dizzy. And I'm old, and so I forget. And I've got gray hair that interfere with my brain. Well, this is neat. I'm not going to touch it. So we look through this. Oh, this is the one you flip through real fast. 
Makes a nice fan. Is that how you keep cool? Is oh wow. Yeah, I remember we had been through it. <laughs> hey, I'm with you now. So tell me what's in these containers here. Okay, I got garnets in here. Cool. Red pie rope garnet diamond indicator. Pie rope no done. These are Ooh. chromium spinel. Wow. That's the other classic diamond This one is too. This is bigger ones in here. Yeah, yeah. And this is chromium diopside. Wow. There probably could be some... Uh, Peridot. Well. Peridot in there, yeah. Yep. yeah. They're hard to tell apart. Yep. This. Barite? Yep. It's barite. Barite blue. And then this is that metallic <laughs> material that people have been finding lately. They're not real sure what it is yet. Mm. But I found three of those. And that's the old purple stuff. Yep. Amethyst. Mm -hmm. This is citrine. Yes, which is the yellow quartz. Yellow, yep. Amethyst is purple quartz, citrine is exactly. yellow exactly. quartz, which yellow probably because of iron, and the purple is probably purple because of manganese. Exactly. Yep. You're pretty smart. <laughs> pyrite? Yeah. We think it's pyrite. I don't know. I've been I think it is too. Yeah. I think you're right. It's pyrite. And that is the old nasty stuff out here that we call mica. Oh. The one that Everybody makes you walk hates around it. and yeah, yeah. You try to pick it up and it's like gold glitter. And this and it stuff crumbles. here is just something that I collect. They're all little needle oh. needle shaped. Oh. Like quartz? Yeah, they're just little. Wow, you spent a lot of time looking through little bits of gravel. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's about like the guy that's, you know, a stargazer that's, you know, looking at the night sky all the time. He's always looking through a telescope. Well, you're always looking through a microscope. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much for the interview, Scott. Uh, it's been great to see all your diamonds and everything else you brought. Thank you, Glenn.